welcome to a new episode of Cartoon Drawing with me. Um, I'm going to do another request today, um, thankfully, because I'm going to run out of ideas. Um, somebody asked me to do Chucky from the Rock Rats, and that's what I'm going to do today. So it's going to be a, uh, a harder one because it's kind of a weird animation style, but it's not going to be that hard. So grab your stuff and let's get drawing. From the Rock Rats. Um, it's a, uh, it's one of the hard ones that I've done because it's going to be a complete whole one. Um, but again, if we're just taking it slow and looking at our reference points, it should be all right. I am going to uh, to use my regular old school type pencil. Um, before we get started, don't forget you can still order your uh, your uh, calendars for me. They're uh, 2012 calendars. And, uh, you know, they're all high quality, good pictures. And uh, just shoot me a, a message for uh, $20, including free shipping. So, these are the ones. This is the one for this year. And I'm going to be making one for next year. New pictures, new ideas. So, you know, leave a comment. Shoot me an email to masterviking at hotmail.com. Or just, you know, leave a comment or something like that. You know, spiral bound. Good quality. Anyway, um, Chucky. Let's get started. I'm going to turn this around because the picture is going to go this way. Because I'm going to roughly like everything else. I'm going to see if, if um, how he will fit on my paper. And I'm going to show you that you don't need a special pencil to, to do this. This is just a regular old school pencil. What they used to call a penny pencil. That's cool. Okay. So, and right now I'm just using really basic shapes for uh, just to kind of get the idea where things are going. Okay. So, because I want to make sure that he fits on my paper. Because that's one of the most important things. You don't want to be ending up you know, coming up short. So, and that's good. Because the lighter you do it, the easier it is if you make a mistake. Yeah. And there's a lot of detail in it for uh, know that this is the top sheet what I've made just a regular line that's going to be where his hair is so I can go kind of like that and make that the top of his head uh, if the hairline is going to go up here so I'm going to draw in the glasses and because it's pencil I can still make a mistake and again this is actually a second round of sketching because I am still not going to go over all the little lines but I'm not going to uh, uh, ink it in either yet so uh, it's got quite the thick rims on them there we go. and I can still change it from here you know if I made it too big too small um, you can use the other side of your pencil to erase with but be careful because it is a colored eraser you might end up actually smudging your paper, so be careful with that. Alright, he's got some cheeks, so we're going to put in the cheeks right here. And then from here, we're going to go down to his neck. And you can already see that I ended up roughly on the same spot, but not completely. I already changed it just a tad. Here's the other, other cheek. And his coming over there. Got the first peak of his red hair going right here with his ear right there. So I'm actually going to change this line to make it go over there. Yeah, just to keep it kind of neat. There we go. Okay, so we've got the ear, we've got the thing, uh, the, the glasses. Um, I'm going to put in his, his mouth. Which is actually kind of oddly shaped, but it's because he's got buck teeth. He's going to be smiling. As long as the, the curves of his teeth are 
of her open mouth are actually um, pointing upwards. It will be all right. So there we go. It's got this buck teeth in there. Uh, it's got two little um, nostril thingies. It's got a couple of freckles. Uh, it's got a um, little piece of hair sticking out there. That's the only hair you can see. So his eyebrows and his glasses are actually kind of one and the same. There is his other uh, leg of his glasses. And yeah, putting in the top of his hair. And it is kind of wild and spiky and, and all of that. So, yeah. Have fun with this. And just make sure that it all fits on your paper. I've done that before. There's a deep cut in it. It goes over there. And again, we can all clean this up as we go along. And as you can see, Make a little bit of a mistake, but it can go out to the side. There it goes. Alright, so we've got that one in. And uh, from here, I'm going to go down to the neck. And he has got a kind of like a V collar going on, going on there. With the point of the V being lower. the shoulder coming out right here which goes in right to a point of his shirt that has a thing going up like that okay they're quite stocky in their animation style so I'm gonna go right up there at the other shoulder right here find your reference points this one goes like almost half between this line and that line so over there down and once again up, I know that the uh, hand is going to be about here, so I want to be sure that the collar that he's got on the shirt comes up here, because he's got a little bit of a uh, um, line going in right there on the shirt, and now comes the hard part. We're going to put in his, his finger, so he's got one right there, he's got another one sticking out right there, and uh, he's got the one, two, three, four, so the other one goes right there, and then we have the pinky one here, and the thumb going that way, okay, uh, put in his other, his other arm, and this one's actually sticking out more, as you can see, because this is actually closer to us in this pose. So, here's one. And this is the other side of the hand, so we get the palm. Pinky. And index finger. Thumb. Okay, it's that simple. Okay. Uh, his shirt is actually pointed going down right there, coming up in here, and we've got a little bit going in there, and goes up like that. Two. Um, he's got a planet on his shirt. Now his pen is pointed here upwards. And it's got a bulge going in there for his leg. Up, down, down. Like it. Come up. Okay. 
that's all you have to do. Just look for the big shaft. There we go. Okay. Got a leg right here coming out, and you've got a pair of socks. And out of those socks comes his sneakers. He's got a pair of open sneakers that actually have the laces are loose. Okay, so there we go. Follow the sole that he's got and put in the little loose laces. Just a little bit as I go. Make sure that, you know, I got everything. There we go. Okay, put in the other shoe and then we're as good as done with this one. This yellow sock comes up here. Then he has one, two pair of laces. He's got his shoe coming in right here. And then he's got his sole. Make sure that there's a curve right here that it goes that way. Okay. Shoes are a little bit curved. And shoelace. Shoelace. There we go. And now we can go and go ahead and clean it up a little bit by rounding things off like that. Don't forget to sign it, and from here on what you can do is just start following your lines and erase as you go. You can see, you know, it's not that hard. You just gotta take it step by step and take it easy, look for guidelines. Where does his hand start? Where does his hand stop? Find the reference points within your within your drawing. You know, where do the eyes go? Where does the eye stop? Um, Things overlapping, especially um, here with the glasses, that his frame is going to go underneath. That's a good um, way of showing 3D in your drawing. And as you can see, you can technically ink with a pencil. Just make sure that your original drawing is light enough that you can go over it. is just to follow the lines that you got, trust your, trust your sketch. from the Rocker app. Um, thank you for showing up. Um, let me know if you want one of those calendars or anything else. Keep your uh, comments coming and keep your suggestions coming for a cartoon drawing and I'll see you guys next time.